inflicted an enormous and painful toll on our nation's workers and small businesses. That's why last month I asked Congress to pass the Paycheck Protection Program, giving small businesses emergency economic relief to keep workers on the payroll. The Paycheck Protection Program allowed me to keep those individuals employed. The ability to have that peace of mind that I'll keep them. It's been a lifeline for us. With the PPP, it has now given life to my family. Uh, it has injected hope in our business, and uh, it's allowing us to fight the fight. As a recipient of the PPP loan, we will continue to take up the charge and help everyone, especially people with disabilities, pursue the American dream. This program has given our small business the funds needed to operate and maintain through this crisis. We're helping pizza shops, delis, healthcare workers, repair shops, construction companies. They're getting a lifeline through this program. That we as small business are strong and we are resilient and we will bounce back. We suffer with one heart, but we will prevail. We built the greatest economy anywhere in the world. We're going to build it again. We're going to build it. So I'll be going to Camp Dave for a working weekend. We're going to be spending a lot of time with meetings and phone calls and some foreign leaders. So we look forward to that, and we'll be back very soon. I guess we're doing something pretty big on Sunday night at the Lincoln Memorial. That'll be very nice. But we'll be back soon, and I think some of you will be traveling out around the area where I'm going. But we'll be at Camp David for a working weekend. Yeah, I'd rather not comment on it yet. Kim Jong-un. Uh, we'll have something to say about it at the appropriate time. Would you advise him to support Sosa, even though he's not going to be president? Would you advise him to support Sosa, even though I think he's doing a very good job. He's a great friend of mine, and uh, the president is doing really well in Brazil. We're very proud of him. How about the situation with the coronavirus in Brazil? Are well, they have a, they've been hit hard. Brazil's been hit very hard. But you have a president that's doing a very good job. Mr. President, has the president been alive? Can you at least say that? I don't want to talk about it. Mr. President, Mr. President, I don't want to talk about it. Mr. President, So uh, we're going to see what happens. A lot of things are happening with respect to China. We're not happy, obviously, with what happened. This is a bad situation all over the world, 182 countries. Uh, but we'll be having a lot to say about that. We're, it's certainly an option. It's certainly an option, Joe. Mr. President, are you going to be social distancing? Certainly an option. Are you going to be social distancing during your work weekend? Yeah, I will. That, I didn't say that, Judge. I said I didn't like the particular place, a spa, a tattoo parlor. No, no. I think it's wonderful. I want to see us open safely. But I didn't like spas and tattoo parlors, and I wasn't thrilled about that. But I, did, I said nothing about Georgia other than that. I like the state's opening.